How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool glitching text effect. This is actually an update of an older tutorial that I made in an older version of Blender. So I kind of updated it and changed it a little bit to make it cooler. Uh, if you wanna get this project file right here, it is currently available on Patreon along with all the other um, project files from tutorials and different things like that. You also get on Patreon two exclusive tutorials a month. You get an exclusive live stream. Those last about an hour long. You get 10 procedural materials a month. I think I have close to 100 now on there and I talk about client work when that stuff comes up. I just recently posted the cloth brush tutorial and I posted two exclusive text tutorials on the Patreon this month. So if you wanna grab that in the description, it is available, check it out. Now let's learn how to make this animation. All right, so we're gonna start in a blank document here. We're gonna be using Eevee as our render engine. Make sure you have Bloom on to really make this effect really cool. Now I'm gonna hit Shift A and go straight into the text tool. And then what I like to do here is hit the little A right here and center out both pieces. And then I'm gonna type in just a word like T-E-C-H. Just something, it really doesn't matter what text you use, it's completely editable. We, we're not actually converting the text at any point. Now let's go here to font and just pick a really cool font. You can click that and it goes to your directory of fonts. If that doesn't pull up, you can just go ahead and download a font from the internet and click that file. All right, so now we're gonna go straight into shading. All of this cool stuff actually happens in the nodes. So we're gonna go here, and I'm gonna actually click the render button. And now we just have that, and we can click on the text and see it. Um, so let's click new, and then I'm gonna collapse these two windows, and I'm gonna bring this window up, and let's go and delete this guy. We're gonna get in a mix shader, plug that right there, and then we're gonna get two fun nodes we're gonna get in an emission, mission node and a transparent node. Now we're just gonna plug the transparent right here, the emission here. I'm gonna pick my color and I'm gonna give my strength at about uh, 15, nice and glowing. So we need to actually tell these guys what to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a color ramp so I can actually crunch everything that's happening right behind the color ramp and then we're gonna get in a really cool wave texture. Plug the wave, the color of the wave into the color ramp. And then here, if you go to edit preferences, you go to your add-ons, type in node and click on the node wrangler. Now, the reason why we're doing that is we can click on the wave texture, control T and click on the object coordinate. And then what we're gonna do now all right, so if we get this color ramp in like this, you can see now we're actually editing the size of these waves. Of course, if we go here, you can notice there's actually no transparency happening and that's a little annoying. So click on the shader here, go here to blend mode to alpha blend, and that's gonna actually activate that transparency. It doesn't really matter if it's a black background, but if you wanna take this animation further, that'll be really beneficial. So of course, this color ramp's gonna edit that, but I don't like this soft edge. So we're gonna go from linear here to constant, and that's gonna give us a nice hard edge for our design. So now we have, you know, just put the lines and the scale of your lines, however you like them to be. And then right here on the rotation, you're gonna to wanna to actually rotate the actual lines. If you like them to be like that, that's totally cool. But um, here, but here I'm gonna put my Z at 90 degrees to make it go this way. I just think it looks better in my opinion. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit more. So we just get this really cool analog type of look. I'm not sure if analog is the right word, but you kind of get the idea. Now, how do we actually make it glitch? What we're gonna do is get a Voronoi texture. So shift A, V, O, R, bring it here. We are gonna plug the mapping node into the vector. And then we're gonna go here to from 3D to 4D, so it's actually animatable. Um, go here to Chebyshev to get that blocky look. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix these two. Now, how are we gonna do that? I'm gonna highlight these guys and hit G to move them back. And we're gonna get in a mix RGB. And that's how this node is gonna allow these two guys to speak into each other and then transfer into these nodes. So what I'm gonna do here is first actually bring these guys back a little bit more because we're gonna wanna get a color ramp, C-O-L color ramp to add a little bit more animatability to this. And I'm gonna go here to a constant offset and bring it to the middle. We're gonna bring our distance here into the color ramp. Now these guys are pretty much, they just speak to each other. When we're working on this, imagine these two guys are just like the same thing in terms of they're a group, they work together. So 
um, you know, imagine this just is the Voronoi note. For beginners, I want to make sure that you guys don't get overly confused by me adding this color ramp. Don't worry about it. This guy is just going straight through that guy. So plug the color into the color too, and boom, we have glitching craziness. Um, you can actually bring around the W and go nuts with it, and we are having some fun. Transparency is still working. And that is how we kind of glitched that around. Now this color ramp actually lets you animate it in and out. And so it's really playing with this Voronoi texture. Now one really fun thing is you can actually go to F1 to F2 and get more detail in your texture and your glitch. And that's really, really fun. Of course, that W is what allows you to animate the glitching. So we'll go ahead and just animate that really quickly. So go here to edit preferences, go here to animation and make sure your default interpolation is on linear. I want to keep that there so there's no change in velocity. Now what we'll do is we'll go here and click that, bring that up, get a timeline and I'm gonna give myself say 120 seconds. That's about five seconds of animation. It's really up to you. And then right here, right click on the W, insert keyframe, go to the end and just imagine one, two, three, four, five, insert keyframe, and now we have interesting, cool, glitching text that's doing really cool, fun stuff. And uh, it's totally useful. And of course, this kind of loops because it is glitching around. You can't really tell that it's, it's changing and things like that. You can kind of tell. Uh, but it's really useful for tons of different types of really cool projects. So there you go. You can go ahead and just add your camera um, right here, Control-Alt-0. And then you can render it out however you want to render it out. But again, that is how you make a really quick, really easy glitching text. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And thank you for watching.